Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vampire. Dan here with No Games for Old Men. As with every other major boss fight, we are significantly underpowered. I made, made a couple of valiant efforts, but... I need... I need to level up. So, we've got plenty of experience points to use. We're gonna... Oh, God. Ooh, wow. I really did a terrible job of dodging that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, brother. Okay, so the point being, I'm going to head back to the hospital because that was what I was going to do at the beginning of the last episode. So I need to make a right here, unfortunately. I'm trapped between two groups. Well... My goodness. Whoa! I didn't even really pay attention to the level that those two guys were. I'm guessing very low if I was able to one-shot both of them. I can't believe I'm doing this. Is there a hideout nearby? Oh, yeah, but there's this guy here. Let's... Okay, now that he's gone, maybe I can hop up here and unlock this, this hideout. Aha! There we go. Great. Now... We'll just refill bullets, since we're here. And what is in here? Got some loots. Ooh. New collectible. Vampire Club. Ugh. There it is. Jeez. Alright. Oh, is this another of <laughs> Clarence's brochures? Do you think vampires hide in the dodgy areas and the hovels of London? No! They hide in the highest clubs and fancy houses of the West End. I know for a fact that some of them rule the Empire in secret. They have a club. Oh no. Clarence, you're getting too close to the fire, buddy. You're... oh gosh. Okay, they have public figures, they have balls and fancy parties. They claim to control... they aim to control the country and our destinies. We must reveal them for what they are. Greedy enemies of mankind, born into this world to bring us all into the eternal darkness of hell. You know them, but you don't dare pronounce their names. I will, soon, and everybody in London will know the name of the Vampire Club. Oh, Clarence. Don't, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Okay, let's see if there's, I picked up some, oh, here, what, what? Okay, let's analyze this, what will this let me do? Ugh. I, I need treatments, I need to know how to make headache treatments. Killing me. Strong blood serum. Okay, let's make a couple of those. And we're out of these. So let's make a couple of these since we're here. Okay. Trigger parts. That is what I have picked up recently. So let's see if we can upgrade the parabellum. Oh, yes. I'm going to see if we can use this against Doris. And... Oh, 
I didn't I didn't upgrade it here. Let's see. Oh, that's right, because I wanted to see if I was going to probably use it on uh, human enemies or vampire enemies. But since I only really ever use uh, firearms in boss fights against vampire enemies, I feel like the incendiary damage would be best, but I just don't have enough white phosphorus. So that's something I need to keep an eye out for. In the meantime, however... Damage dealt... Oh, I need rivets. Okay. Well, at least I got the damage up upgraded. Uh, let's see. Remarkable shotgun. Really? Okay. 480. Holy smokes. Okay, so I can upgrade power or velocity. Improved velocity decreases reloading time. Huh? Okay, wh whatever. Okay, so I've got two opportunities for that, and then then we get into the incendiary and chemical damage, and then, and then this. Okay, so let's go with... Man, I just I really think reload time. Like 10 per, okay, 10% damage increase. That would get me to 528. Hmm. But I've got damage increases down here too. Let's do re reloading time. Cuz really the shotguns take so long to reload. Okay, and then we're not going to touch this yet because I want to go with incendiary. Uh, let's see if Doris's, or not Doris, Charlotte's stake can be boosted. Oh yeah, look at this. So we've got increased stun, enhanced handling, decrease the amount of stamina. Well, let's see. I could do both. I could split. Let's get a boost for stun on first and second level. And then we'll just do the decreased handling down here. Oh! Three aluminum parts. I wonder if I've got anything here that I can... ...recycle to get that. Forks! Silver forks! Alright, well, let's recycle some silver forks. Actually, I just needed the one, didn't I? Okay. Okay. Maximum upgrades for Charlotte's steak. Sweet. And the saw. Let's see if we can get that upgraded. Increase blood absorption. Nice. Oh, perfect. Remarkable Hacksaw is now Perfect Hacksaw. And let's see, increased damage or blood absorption. I'm going to go damage on this one. Because I'm, I'm really the stake is going to be my opportunity to get blood now. So let's do another... Now let's just do all of them, might as well. Why do I keep doing that? This will get me to 240. Okay. Cool. Got uh, got some good orange weapons. How about the mace? Ah, oh, one good handle part is what we need for that. Okay. Nice. Off we go then. Are there two entrances to this place? Oh. Look at this. Oh, nice. I just completely avoided this entire alley by coming in this, this way. Yeah, well, there's some rats, definitely. I have this thirst 
for blood. Okay, now you're probably wondering, Dan, you were just inside a hideout, why did you not upgrade? Reason is, and there actually is one, I want to make sure Edgar doesn't have anything critical for me before... Okay, let's see, those two guys are too close, I think, here we go. I guess you can only ever just jump from the boat, I suppose. Gentlemen. Back at the hospital. I feel like I haven't been here in a long time. Healthy, healthy. back there because I wanted to see if the that little eavesdrop opportunity was available but uh, apparently not I guess I missed it um what does she have she has a headache I think right and I do have a headache treatment I think so I guess I could give it to her Good evening, that way, How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. She will be Warm, less... Rich, vibrant blood. Uh, she, she won't Do you contribute require to my the services, Miss unhealthy My condition cannot be understood by you, region. mortal. This curse is beyond your science. Yeah, okay. Well... Have some aspirin. Until the day science finally admits failure, please accept this little contribution. Thank you, Doctor. Your efforts are admirable, though laughable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. I like, I like Thelma Hauk. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activity. She is deluded, but... All right, Doc. What do you got for me? Hello, Jonathan. How are things on the West End front? Complicated, my friend. The rich and powerful feel threatened by the disease and have asked me to put an end to it. Yes. It is odd how resolving a crisis suddenly increases in urgency when it affects those who matter. <laughs> yeah. Does the Brotherhood of St. Paul know anything about the Ascalon Club? Well, I'm afraid that's unlikely. Ascalon is a sensitive topic, and whatever material the Brotherhood has, I may not have access to. Who could answer me, then? Usher Tooltree, our current primate, may be the only one able to answer you. He's a discreet man who lives in the West End. Do you know Aloysius Dawson, the famous tycoon, is well-versed in vampire and occult knowledge? No, I did not. But that is no surprise. For half a century, it has been quite the trend for English nobility to join secret societies and occult circles. But Aloysius Dawson is only a rich merchant. Yes, richer than Croesus. <laughs> Wealth is more respected than title these days, even in England. Did he contact the Brotherhood of St. Paul? Try to join your group? It would not surprise me, but I am certain he's never been a member. It looks like the epidemic is spreading to the western districts of London. I am trying to locate the source of the infection. It won't be an easy task, my friend. This disease is highly contagious. Do you not think epidemiology could be helpful in this matter? to retrace the origin of infection through time and topology. If anyone can perform such a miracle, it will be you, Dr. Reed. Since this epidemic is evidently linked to the vampire curse, we must find the original carrier to understand where it comes from. I admire your logic, Jonathan, but be careful. Rationality, when it comes to your kind, is not always a reliable lens. Thank you for your time, Edgar.
All right, so finding the original carrier, we know that the previous clues of from the Mulaney's and the McPherson's led us to Doris Fletcher, but that doesn't necessarily mean Doris is the is patient zero. Could be could be more to it than that. She could lead us to somewhere else. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can... So they don't refresh these cabinets, huh? I haven't been here in a long time and they're still empty. Shame. Look, Jeff, more ferrous tartrate. It's locked, all right. Oh. Okay. What is that? Is that a thing? It's not a thing. It's just a label on the little map there. Okay. All right, folks. Are we ready for this? Are we are we sure we want to do this? Healing. Oh, fatigue. Clay. Do I have a fatigue treatment? Oh, I do. All right. All right, let's... Ugh. Clay's a tool, but... He is under our care, so... I guess we'll go give him the fatigue treatment. We just don't want him to get worse. Hey, Doc! You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. <laughs> but don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. Clay, I'll you leave know you too for much. now, Mr. Cox. Or at least he surmises too much. Oh! Unlooted trash can. How did that escape my notice? All right, Milton. Let's see. Do you have any good handle good parts evening, I can Milton. buy from? Good evening, sir? Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Handle parts. Handle part. A. Hey, there we go. Nice. And trigger. We'll take that. Uh, don't need any of those at this point. What is this for? The Parabellum. Okay, let's buy all of... <laughs> He's got two. Two Parabellum bullets. Alright. Uh, I've got plenty of shotgun shells, I think. Is there a way for me to know that? Ah, here we go. Eight. Eight of eight. Oh, that's my current inventory. I don't know what's in my stash up in the hideout, so... Okay. Alright, well, everything else... Everybody else is, is good here in this district. We're actually taking really good care of the hospital, except this poor guy right here. He's had that condition for... I don't even know what the date is right now. The docks are actually in good shape, considering. Uh, but look at how much... Okay, I've got one ill person in the docks, but they've got the Tier 3 illness, and that's that's the effect that it has. The, almost half of the health status is contributed just by this. Uh, Whitechapel. Yep, we've got another neuralgia. We've got a cold. And nobody in West End is ill, as far as I know. Although, the condition's only stable, so I, I'm guessing that people I haven't met, there's a ton of them, are ill. So, alright, let's, let's head... And there's that guy in Whitechapel that I need to find who understands Braille so I can complete that. I don't think I've ever been over here. So I wonder if I come up this way 
through the cemetery out this side. Maybe maybe I can find something there. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll just kind of make a roundabout way to get to... Um, oh, but first... Right, first we've got to... We've got to evolve. Oh, yeah! Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? Um... Blood Spear, Shadow Mist is not quite to max, but I have to be, what? Level 26. Okay, so that is locked. Let's see about... Blood cap... Oh, I could use some blood capacity, too. Big Thirst, increased blood absorption when using Bite. Definitely need that, because I'm using that now as my main source of blood so let's boost do I don't I have something that I wanted that was a high level ability that cost like 7,000 was it this 2700 okay that's not nearly as bad all right well sure let's boost our autophagy ability maximum autophagy would be okay all right 300 healing. What even is my my health? Um. Hmm. I don't know. What? What tells me? If I come to here. It just tells me it'll give me plus 150 extra health, but I don't know what my current total is. I just want to make sure that I'm not spending points on autophagy to heal me to a point that I can't even reach. Because right now... 200. 200. Oh, hold up. Hold up. 200 healing. 300 healing. I'm looking at... Oh, I can't point. <laughs> I was going to point to the screen so you all could see it. Below recovery... In the center of the card here, it says 300 healing. But above cost, it just says 200 healing in red. So I'm wondering, is that telling me that I've only got 200 health points? So, uh, yeah, we're not going to go this route just yet. We're going to go for the big thirst. And let's see, we do one more. That would be a lot of healing. Uh, what if we boost our health now? Because really, look how low our health is. No wonder we're getting our butt whooped every time. We're still in the copper... Or bronze? Bronze, silver, and gold, probably. They went with the Olympics. Metal scheme. Yeah, let's do another one. Okay, so that gets me to here. I'm at level 24 now. What was Doris? 29? Oof. Thousand, I could boost again. Uh, I could also let's see physical prowess. Yeah, we're we're low on. I keep running out of stamina a lot. So okay, let's do this. We'll go one more physical prowess and one more health, and that'll that'll chew up all of my XP. That'll get us up to level 25. Not bad. I still have not used Blood Cauldron. Wow. Whoa! Getting Blood Cauldron to level 2 costs 2,000 XP? Dang, and it costs 500 blood to use? Zulf. Okay, let's... <laughs> I guess that'll do it. Great. Oh, yes, I'd love to see that. Come on, get to sanitized. Oh, well, it can't be sanitized because we still got... He's this poor guy here. And the docks. Rodney's healed. Great. Come on, creep up, creep up. Oh! Only 68%. Dang. Well, you know what? 
probably because I've had to kill a bunch of the citizens. That's probably why the health status is bad. Whitechapel. Uh, not better, but not worse either. That's good. And the West End. Okay, he is now healed, so... I don't know anybody who's ill, but I don't know anybody who's sick either, so... Okay. Probably need a couple of... Yeah, let's get a cold treatment, because I know somebody's got a cold. I don't remember who it was. Let's get two, just to have them on hand. And let's get one for sepsis, although I don't think anybody had one. But all those people in Whitechapel... Not Whitechapel. The West End. That I haven't met yet. I might need... Uh, also, let's swap this for this. And that is what we've got. Okay, so... Pa, pa, pa. Uh, am I comfortable with these abilities? I think so. Yeah. Okay, alright, now let's head to the cemetery. or through the cemetery into the other side of Whitechapel and see if we can find that person who understands Braille. I don't know that they're there. Okay, let's see if you guys will stop. Nice. Oops. Nope. Okay. Man, that tells me I have this first that for there's a hideout, right? Because they said when you find rats, that's that's a good sign that there's a hideout nearby. But the hospital's right there. Why would there be a hideout so close to the hospital? I don't know. Oh, that's right. Isn't there one up here that I can't unlock? Oh, hello. Die, baby! <laughs> This will get some blood, especially since I boosted my capacity. Wow. Interesting. So that gets me... I think I've been here. Yeah, I've been over here and it didn't get me anywhere. That will get me over here. Oh, I didn't need blood. Oh, oh. Wow. Guy had a lot of Ferris Star Trait in his pockets. Okay, so here's the cemetery. I gotta deal with these guys. Oh, rats. <laughs> did I get these two guys with the... Oh my gosh, I did. Awesome. Oh. Excellent. Really? Priest? You have nothing? Saw a shiny bit. Okay, so. Ooh, there's a wooden thing there. Can I bust that open with this? Negative. These, though. Those barrels don't stand a chance. Alright. 
this isn't the part, the side of the cemetery I wanted to be in, but I'll just go through out the other side because that's that's the area of Whitechapel I'm trying to get to. This place is kind of a maze, but oh, I need to go to the right. All right. Oh, there's. Oh! Totally failed to dodge that. Okay, to the right, to the right. up here. Oh my god, nothing good. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Came out of nowhere, almost made me wet myself. That scared me. Uh, we need to go up there. Yes, man, it's too bad there's not a, a like a break in the the wall there that I can leap to. What if Mary's back? And I have to fight her again. Oh! What? Near lie the remains of Giselle Paxton. Oh my god. Lottie Paxton. No way! The people, the citizens that you kill end up in the cemetery as headstones you can visit. Oh no. Is Dyson around here? Oh, now I feel bad again. I don't know that I needed to I can't didn't. believe I'm doing this. I didn't. It's just I was so I was so upset I needed a a sympathy rat snack. Okay, so that ooh, that, this leads up to a, a little secret area. Well, not secret, but an area I didn't know was here. Wait, did I just miss something? Oh no, it's just the wet. The bricks are wet, and when I they gleamed as I walked by. All right, nobody here. Oh, this is where Jonathan watched Mary's original funeral from. So it's not like this is a... Oh, no, don't, don't, no! Oh. Alright, can you jump up? Okay, good. Uh. Well, that's... I guess that's it. Can't get back there. Alright, well, that wasn't... That revealed nothing. I was, was a little disappointed. I thought there would at least be a, a lootable back there. Wow. Yeah, I've never been over here. I don't think I ever came out this way. Whoa, what happened here? This fence got wrecked. A strange formula. And a light blood serum. Wow, he actually had a serum on him. Huh. Well, 
Looking for lootables. Looking for lootables. Anybody who watched me play Mutant Year Zero knows <laughs> that I look for every corner. Alright, I have a map pin up. I don't... Oh, there we go. I don't need you anymore. Okay. Is there anyone here who knows Braille? Oh no! Swing and a miss. That was terrible. Where did he come from? He wasn't there. Did he climb up? Can they climb up walls? Maybe. Well, I'm afraid I do need the rat. I have this thirst for blood. Yeah, check this area out. I've never. How did I miss this? I guess when I fought Mary, I just immediately ran out the way I knew I could go. Oh! Do I know what's there? It's a flickering light. It's gotta be Whitechapel Old Road. Oh, there we go! Yeah, there's another hideout over here. And shillings! So many shillings. Give me every shilling. Oh, there's like cubby holes here. What was this what did this building used to be? Alright, there's our resty bed. That is blocked. That is not lootable. for the parabellum or is it parabolum 24 bullets what do you say folks parabellum or parabellum I see lootable oh okay Nice, you never even got a shot. Ha! That is how you deal with shotgun to the face. Okay, any... I saw a rookie. Oh, Rogue Econ here? Oh no. This area is under flu quarantine, but yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and walk in. This is the part we were looking for. Oh, who's that? <gasps> He's here! He is here! Oh my gosh! Oh, thank goodness. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor, inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. No. <laughs> it cannot be safe for a blind man to live here alone. Let me enter, sir. I swear I mean you no harm. Well, a voice never lies, and yours clearly is the voice of a gentleman. <laughs> All right, doctor, come on in. Man, in this what an amazing ability I that is. Either brave or a fool. Mason Swanbro. So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? Oh, my god! You know I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. 
Okay, wow, he's got a lot to say, so let's, uh... How is the sanitary right. situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick, and my lock is solid. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Do you not appreciate your <laughs> sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Hmm. Loretta is the, uh, the snake oil salesman in Whitechapel with the, the very fancy fur coat. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say she earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Wow, he just admitted that it's fake. Good for you. Um, okay, so we unlocked a hint for him. Uh, oops, no, it's, oh, we're already there. Huh. We unlocked a hint, but... It didn't actually unlock any dialogue options. Interesting. Do you know Braille, Mr. Swanborough? I'm no expert, but I learned it in my spare time, yes. Why? I found a strange document entitled Cure for Blindness. It's written in Braille, so I thought perhaps it was yours. Really? Is that some kind of sick joke? Let me see. Here it is. This letter seems authentic. And... It actually refers to an experimental cure for blindness. You have piqued my interest, Dr. Reed. Could it be of any use to you? No. <laughs> this page is just a part of a larger diary. I'd be glad if you could find the other pages. Hmm. I wonder how many there are. Oh, I apparently already have another page. I found another page of the diary, Mr. Swanborough. This diary is still not complete. The man who wrote it claims he is a member of some scholarly brotherhood called the St. Paul's Stole. Really? I've heard of them. <laughs> Very capable scientists. Yes. Perhaps the man who wrote this really found a cure. I would need more pages to figure it out, but it's as promising as it is intriguing. Okay. Just making sure that nothing else unlocked during that. It did not, so... Okay, well... Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. How interesting. I'll leave you now. We have... How did you... Finally discovered that last individual here. That's great. Uh, ooh! Oh, gosh. He is in bad shape, too. That's, uh... That's not good. That's why. Uh, okay, so... Oh, we've only got one more page. One more page. Where could it be? We have no idea. It's just... We're just going to have to come across it. There's no... Oh, wait. It's, like, very close. Apparently. You see the world these days. Can we potentially find it? What if he has it in here? Because it's... The little mark was very close by. What was that? Oh! Oh, Clarence. Vampires drink our blood, but they feed on our soul. How could we believe any man or woman killed by these foul creatures, bitten by their filthy mouths, could have been accepted to heaven? Oh, no! <laughs> their bodies have been defiled and their souls have been corrupted. Their place is now in hell with the legions of blood-sucking demons. Vampires feed on our souls. Clarence. Oh, man. Okay. Ooh, look at this. 
dude was a scientist. Oh god. His bed is awful. Oh. Oh no. Somebody needs to clean up. Oh, document. Loretta's letter. My dear brother. This is the apology letter you'll never read. For you've lost your sight because of me. I know you hate me for what I did, even if you never say so. We don't talk much in the Swanborough family, do we? So, to clear my conscience, this is my bravest gesture toward you. To write you this letter and leave it in your laboratory. If you ever find it and ask about it, I'll read it to you. If somebody else reads it, well, as I wrote above, this is my bravest gesture. So, Mason, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did and for the hell you've been, through, you've been thrown into. I'm sorry you're now a blind man trying to find a meaning to your useless life. Whoa, Loretta. Wow. If I could change one thing, only one thing in my miserable life, it would be what happened a year ago. I swear it, Mason. If I could give my eyes to you to see again. Nope. If I could give my eyes for you to see again, I would. But it does not work that way, does it? So please forgive me, Loretta. Well, let's talk to Mason about that, shall we? Tell me, how do you see the world these days? But before we do that, is there anything in here? Yeah, it's locked. Oh, okay. So that's the that's the thing I could get if I if I feed on Mason and take his key. That's Wondering his. in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. All right, Mason. What can I do for you, Doctor? Well, I found a letter. Why does your sister feel so guilty about what happened to you? Bring because it down she a notch, dude. I'll Why are you so hostile? Forgive what she did to me. You run an illegal business with someone you hate. I don't hate my sister. She looks after me. We have a good time, but I'm just not ready to forgive her. Okay, now he said you run an illegal business. It's it's just Loretta, right? Unless. Mason is the one who came up with the stuff? Did he did he admit to that? He said he knew it was fake, but he didn't say he made it. Did I miss something? Maybe I missed something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. That What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this level? Was that okay, so the the document is supposed to be Stupid newborn! What? Oh no. Okay, well... Oh, 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 oh gosh, oh gosh. You're mine! Oh! What? Is there another one? Oh no, he's got... Oh god, I gotta get out of here. Actually, I just need to... Just need to... Just kill him. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, that was bad. I couldn't go forward or back. Whoa. You son of a gun. Sneaking up on me like that. Okay, so is there anything over here that I can... Loot? Did, did that guy have an apartment over here? Anything? Just stairs. That's nothing. Ugh. Okay, so 20 meters up is apparently where the last um, words, Dan. Diary pages. Yeah, it's like right above me. Oops. Is it up here somewhere and I missed it? Is it in the hideout? Okay, there's nothing down there. I can't 
break through this, right? I wouldn't want to anyway. That's my protection. No. No. Not on that table. Sure does look like it's in this area, though, doesn't it? On the map. Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so it's I've got it's in this little center area somewhere. Get, it's it's in it's in this area that I'm facing so but it's above me so I've got to find ways to get upstairs Wait a minute. It says bring back the braille notes to Mason. Three of four. Oh, I have three. Okay. Yeah, I've given him two. I must have a third in my possession, but... Oh, is that why it's telling me to be over here? Because it wants me to bring... the notes back. Wait, not over here. We're over... Good evening, Mr. Swanborough. Is it you, Dr. Reed? How did I miss that Please option come in. the last time I talked to him? What kind of gentleman pays visits to people at this late hour? What can I do for you, Doctor? I... You, I want to give you this page. It says I have a page to give you. What the heck? Okay, so I didn't miss the option. It just wasn't there. Right. Inventory. Quest items. Junk. Quest I Oh my gosh. We've got so many things now. <laughs> Ugh. Loretta's letter. Suicide. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to go through all that and just... Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. All right. Well, I think we, uh, we'll... Uh, we'll... Save that for another time. We've got bigger fish to fry at this point. We can just head right down this road back to the theater and take care of, hopefully, take care of Doris Fletcher's. So we'll take care of that next time. Folks, I want to thank you for joining me for this episode of Vampire. Hit the like and the subscribe and all that stuff. Enjoy your rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Yeah.